Hello everyone, in this today opportunity, we will learn about our next experiment, R1, radioactive. The aims of this experiment are, uh, the first one is to determine the efficiency of geiger muller tube, the second is to determine the linear absorption coefficient of plumbum and aluminum, the third is to determine the HVL of plumbum and aluminum. The Geiger counter is a device used to detect and measure ionizing radiation, also known as geiger muller counters. These tools are widely used in applications such as radiation dosimetry, radiological protection, experimental physics, and the nuclear industry. Uh, basically, it detects ionizing radiation such as alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays using the ionization effect generated in the geiger muller tube, which is what is the instrument is named after. In the widespread and prominent use as a handled radiation survey instrument, it is perhaps one of the most well-known radiation detection instruments in the world. From the picture, we can see that each element from the geiger muller tube uh, in the left side of the picture such as cathode, anode and also the display sensing and also the display of the measurement. The Geiger counter consists of the Geiger Muller tube, a sensing element that detects radiation and processing electronic which display the result. Uh, the Geiger Muller tube is filled with an inert gas such as helium, neon or ergon at low pressure which is subjected to a high voltage. The tube briefly conducts an electric charge when the particles or photons of incident radiation makes the gas conductive by ionization. The ionization is significantly amplified in the tube by the Townsend discharge effect to produce an easily measured detection pulse, which is fed to the processing and display electronic. Uh, in the right side, as you can see, is the schematic illustration how the radiation sources come through to the uh, Geiger muller tube and also how we can calculate the efficiency percentage from those analysis. Gamma attenuation The attenuation of gamma beam is defined as the fraction of rays which come through an absorber without interacting. When a gamma rays are dropped on a material, the rays will interact with the material through the photoelectric evac, the Compton evac, or the ion pair evac. These evacs may occur together or only one or two of the three depending on the energy of the light. The interaction between gamma rays and the material causes an ex exponential decrease in the intensity of the rays. According to the formula, I equal to I0 times exponential minus mu x, with I0 is the initial intensity of the gamma rays that come on the surface of the material. I is the intensity of the rays that have passed through the material as thick as X and the mu is the linear absorption coefficient of the material. From the mathematical analysis, later the above equation can be further expressed as X12 equal to 0 0.693 over mu, where X12 is the thickness of the half-value half layer HVL which is the thickness of the material that can absorb half of the intensity of the radioactive rays. Material and tools, screw micrometer, radioactive materials, aluminum metal plates, plumbum metal plates, paperboard, digital Geiger counter or Geiger Muller detector, a ruler and also a wooden board. Now we move to the procedure. First, uh, let observe the background that uh, the digital counter the digital Geiger counter observed without a radiation source. You can repeat uh, five times in a row to take the data. As you can see, the background, uh, the background radiation that been detected by the digital Geiger counter is always shifted.
and then after that take the radiation source materials and then take it out and place in the in the board in in some distance you have to write down the distance between the radiation source to the Geiger molar counter by using a ruler and then observe again the radiation that detect uh, detected by the digital Geiger counter and do it five times in a row to record uh, the value from the display of the Geiger counter and then take a paper board make uh, don't forget to to measure the thickness of this uh, paper board and write down the thickness of it by using a micrometer screw and place the paper board in between of the radiation source in the digital Geiger counter and you can observe the display of the digital Geiger counter if uh, you can observe there is some decreasing value on it and then take the second paper board and don't forget to measure the thickness uh, make sure it has the same thickness and place again in between of a uh, radiation source and the digital Geiger counter and you can observe again in the digital Geiger counter the decreasing value and usually you will uh, have uh, you will do it five times in a row As you can see there, the display of the number that Geiger counter sensing is always shifted and changing. And then take the third paper board and place again in parallel with other paper board in between of a radiation source in the Geiger counter. And then you can observe again to the value that's shown by the digital Geiger counter and put the fourth paper board and observe again and the fifth paper board and see the decreasing value shown by the digital Geiger counter it is for learning the absorber uh, skill And then take the second aluminum plate and uh, don't forget to measure the thickness by using screw micrometer and then place in between the radiation source and the Geiger counter and observe the decreasing value that shown by digital Geiger counter usually you will do it uh, five times in a row to collect the data and then take the second aluminum plate and put it again in between radiation source and the Geiger counter 
and you have to observe again and record again the value that's shown by this digital Geiger Geiger counter and take the third the third aluminum plate just make sure the thickness place it again in parallel with other aluminum uh, metal board metal plate you will do it uh, with the same step uh, such before with the paper board and take the fourth aluminum plate and also later the the fifth and so on and also uh, observe the value that's shown by the digital Geiger counter yeah screw micrometer to measure the thickness for each plate and then you can see in the display of the digital Geiger counter the decreasing uh, value from the previous detection and then uh, now we will use the PB metal plate and as before you have to measure the thickness of this PB metal plate and place in between the radiation source and the digital Geiger counter uh, you can see there is the, uh, there is some uh, extreme decreasing value that's shown by the digital Geiger counter and you have to write down the value that's shown by this Geiger counter and take the second PB metal plate place again in the board and then observe again the the value that's shown by the digital uh, Geiger counter this is the th PB PB metal plate put again in between of the radiation source And you can observe in this digital Geiger counter the decreasing value from the radiation detection and after that you can place again every tools that we use like screw micrometer in its place and also put again the radiation source in its place This is your data that you will get from teaching assistant. The first table here is the information that uh, you record in the first part of the experiment, which is you will get the background count as BG. BG here, or small n, is the background counting from the Geiger counter uh, without a radiation source and the capital N here is with uh, the radiation source and the second table here is the information that uh, the sensing of the Geiger molar counter of the intensity for each material here is your task from that from the data you got from the teaching assistant you will do some calculation then related to that uh, the first thing you have to to find is uh, to determine the efficiency of the Geiger Muller tube and the second you have to make uh, the graph uh, the relation between alien uh, I over I zero equal to minus mu X and from this graph you you have to do some linear regression uh, to get the equation from this linear regression and by using the linear regression equation then you will find the mu uh, the linear absorption coefficient both from PB and aluminum 
Oke, okay, uh, good luck for your report. Stay healthy. Thank you so much for your attention. See you.